Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to recreate this beautiful look. First, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my concealer. As you guys know, I use my fingers all the time just to heat up my concealer. Makes it easier to work. I'm simply just dabbing all my imperfections that I have, sunspots, scarring. Now I'm going to use my sponge just to blend it out and simply dabbing all over my face. Underneath my eyes, on my chin, everywhere I applied my concealer. This concealer is waterproof, great for summer, will last all day even in hot summers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my botanical foundation. This foundation is the best, best foundation. 50% pigmentation. It's absolutely amazing. It's used by professional makeup artists on celebrities. Just watch the magic. I'm just dabbing and I only used a small amount. You will literally not feel this foundation on your face. Now I'm going to use the concealer as a primer on my eyelid for my eyeshadow. Because remember, it's waterproof, but it also serves as a primer. So your eyeshadow will stay intact. Look at these gorgeous eyeshadows. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending with this gorgeous, gorgeous color from the Lottie Dream Palette. And I'm just applying it all over my lid and a little bit higher just because I have hooded eyes. And I'm just brushing it, checking to see that it's even. I'm going to start with my next eye and I'm going to do the same exact thing. Our eyeshadows have amazing pigmentation as well. They're buildable, so you don't wanna go in with a lot. So you just want to even it out. Make sure you can see it when your eyes are open. You want the color to show and just brush it lightly. For this, I'm going to use the dark brown from the Lottie Dream Palette on the outer V of my eye and I'm just dabbing it in to the crease of the outer V. Lightly dabbing. If you guys see me looking away, it's because I'm actually looking at the picture that I'm trying to recreate. Now I'm going to go in with our blackest shade that we have and I'm going to apply it on the outer V, but a little bit smaller. I want it to stay inside of the brown that I have applied. I don't want to cover the brown. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend with my blending brush. Blending it inwards. And I'm doing light blending strokes. Blending that dark shade with the brown. I'm just trying to create it to look very smoky. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I have done 
on the other eye. Remember, it's the brown outer V. Dab into the crease. And you apply your dark color, which in my case is the black. And you blend it. And just make sure they're even so you don't look funny. And now I'm going to use this light color, which is a cream boat. And I'm just dabbing it where I did not put any color, any of the dark colors. I'm going to clean my brush. I always do that. Clean it with my arms. And I want that white cream color to pop. So I'm applying it over and over so it gets lighter and lighter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes. What I like to use for lashes is the dark black glue by Duo. And I'm not really picky on any lashes. Now let's start with our perfect eyeliner. This eyeliner is so dark and the tip is so precise. I'm only going to apply it right on the lash line, right where the inner duct of your teardrop starts. And then I'm going to extend it and make it a little bit thicker. I'm not creating any kind of wing because this look does not half that. I'm just going over it just to make it thicker towards the end. This eyeliner, now I'm putting lashes on my other eye with my favorite glue. Lashes isn't something I do all the time, but I'm doing it for this specific look. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to start off small, thin line, and then work it thicker towards the outer part of my eye. Now, this is one of my favorite parts. I'm going to make it smoky with the same dark black eyeshadow that I used. I'm simply brushing it onto my lower lash. And then I'm going to extend it outward and just keep brushing it, blending it, making it a little bit lighter, not too dark, but also making it thicker. And then we are going to apply the eyeliner right inside of my eye. And I'm using my sponge just to clean anything. And of course, I'm applying concealer to brighten the area. This concealer is so worth it. Now I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. I'm extending it and I'm going to apply that dark black right inside 
the outer V just to make the smokiness pop. And the same thing with the eyeliner again, right on the waterline. And cleaning it up again with the concealer. Now I'm spraying my primer to work on my eyeshadows with our dark brown from the Lottie Dream palette. I'm not a very creative person when it comes to my eyebrows. I just fill in the gaps and just add a little color. Now we're going to dive in into another part that I like, which is the mascara. So even though I have applied lashes, this look requires for you to have amazing lift on your eyelashes. And our mascara is amazing at doing that. So I'm applying our One Step Fiber Mascara just to make the lashes lift just to give it some drama and I'm working on the lower lashes and now I'm going to go in with our amazing blender full and I'm going to apply our translucent powder to set all the makeup that I've applied underneath my eyes but I'm also going to allow it to bake so it can give me a matte finish and this part is one that I really love contouring and I'm starting right at the hairline downwards just going in up and down strokes just to create my cheekbones to pop out and I'm using a bronzer our bronzer is so good for contouring and just to give you some color you guys noticed before I started I was pale white and now it looks like I have a little bit of a tan And I'm going to keep on adding over and over because I'm trying to really make this bronzy look look exactly like the picture. Now I'm going to use this poofy brush just to brush everything out, all the translucent powder and to blend everything beautifully now I'm going to apply some eyeshadow on my cheeks just to add a little bit of a bronzy but with red, red tones shade And I'm going to add more bronzer. And I'm just going to use the sponge just to brighten the areas again. Now we're going to highlight down the bridge of the nose, on the chin. The last thing I have to work on is my lips. So I'm going to apply eyeshadow because I don't have that lip color. So I'm going to just get some colors together. I'm going to clean it up with my blender full. Now I'm applying more color with our lip liner. It's our nude lip liner. It's also going to have a matte finish just like the look. 
So there you have it guys. I've already finished my look. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to also add all the links at the bottom to all the products that I used. They're all limelight products. And if you guys are interested in doing what I'm doing, I'm going to add that link at the bottom too. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to do this at least three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.